All right, Dion. The Trojans move to uh, two and zero. Got a couple picks in the game. Uh, take us through. It looked like the defensive line really helped you out. Uh, definitely. Got to give all the credit to my defensive line. You know, they had a great impact on um, how the ball came out the quarterback's hand. You know, one got tipped by Morgan, and then you know George was uh, you know halfway bringing the quarterback down on my other one. So you know. Without my D line, you know I wouldn't wouldn't have any made that many plays today. Yeah, four turnovers forced by the defense in the first game, and then you know, again you forced two today. So talk about the impetus and what the coaches want you to do in terms of forcing turnovers this year. You know it's a great emphasis um, in our defensive uh, um, meeting room. You know we know that championship defense is uh, the biggest stat that uh, shows on every great defense is uh, the turnover margin. You know every great defense, you know the plays. In the games, in the big games, you know, they're one and two in the uh, turnover margin, so that's a big emphasis our coaches put on our defense. We need to, you know, create more turnovers. Last year we didn't do a very, really good job of that, but this year we're off to a great start. The first one, did you catch it or did it catch you? Looked like a uh, jump right in the chest. You know, I, I thought he was trying to throw it to a guy behind me, so I jumped up, but then he was getting tackled, so he threw the ball lower, so that's why it hit me in my stomach. So it seemed like I didn't really have to jump to get it, but I mean, you know, all credit goes to George Uko on that play. Was this one of the more bizarre games you played in? Definitely, you know, coming out, I felt like we were right at home, you know. I feel like we had more fans than they did here, you know. It was just like playing the Coliseum, you know, I didn't feel any difference. And then, you know, we had the weather delay, that really woke us up, like, all right, we're on the East Coast, I mean, this, this is not LA. And that was the only difference, really, is the weather. How tough was that offense you were facing? I mean, we played against, uh, you know, one of the, the better passing attacks in the country. You know, week one, they led the whole country in passing yards, so we knew we had to be on our P's and Q's when it came to our back seven. You know, and uh, give credit to them, they found some holes in our, uh, our secondary. They was able to move the ball on us, but, you know, if we want to be the great defenses that we, you know, we intend to be, we need to, you know, lock down and get focused on our alignment assignments, especially in the back end. Everyone talks about Robert Marquise as a duo, but it seems like you and Hayes have just come out in the first two games and are flying around and playing with a different kind of confidence. Do you feel like you can be that kind of duo defensively? I mean, Hayes, you know, we uh, we look ourselves in the mirror this year and we understand that, you know, we need to step it up from coming from our last year. You know, we had a pretty good year our freshman year, but it's. A, the expectations for us are, you know, way higher. So, you know, we try to step up and meet the expectations that people have for us. Next game is Stanford. Obviously, a emotional game last year. You Definitely. got hurt, and I, I know, you know, you thought about that touchdown on the next play right after you got hurt. How much do you want? Revenge and, and, and to definitely, really uh, play those guys uh, again. So uh, we definitely have to go out to Palo Alto next uh, next weekend. We need to show up early. You know we can't uh, start off slow like we did today. We need to come out the gates flying. You know we need to we didn't have a good game next week. You know to make a statement. I right, appreciate it, Dan. Good job. Thank you.